What's up, everybody? It's your favorite. We ain't found. It's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Fans Toys Beachcomber. Anxious to take a look at them. Hope I enjoy them more than I enjoyed Hunk. Not that I hated Hunk. Just didn't find them to be all that enticing. But hopefully, this will be better. Shout out to Toy Guy. His email will be in the description. He's a one-man operation. He's who I buy all my Fans Toys stuff from. If he doesn't get back to you right away, he's busy. Or he's sold out. So, it's hard to answer all the emails when you're just one guy doing it. With that being said, we're going to take a look at the figure. We're going to compare and breathe briefly with the X-Transbots. We'll probably do a versus for that this week. But in order to do any of that, we gotta start with accessories. So he comes with a gun, uh, limited sculpting, very cartoon-esque, uh, for better or worse. And uh, other than that, I guess it's kind of fine. It doesn't look painted to me, but it could be. He'll hold it just fine in typical masterpiece style with the peg on the gun plugging into the base of the palm. You can use the gun in alt mode. Uh, you have to undo the roll bar to kind of get it popping, as it were, but uh, in order to get the clearance on it, but you can do it. And then it's nicely hidden up in there. Like, I think that's pretty cool. I'm not a big gun in alt mode, you know, thing, but or a fan rather, but I think that works. You get three additional heads and they just pop off the ball peg. You get one stoic face, one face, but all that jazz going on. And this is a sticker, by the way, so don't get too excited, but still a cool idea. And then this is a happy face. He also comes with these three silver casings that can go on these two in robot mode and this one in alt mode and they're all painted silver and they just have two tabs here and they go with these corresponding slots here and i don't know i might like that i might like i might prefer that personally like just give it a little bit of flair like spice this guy up a notch you know, I might dig that personally, but that's up to you. It's a cool little option to have either way. I dig that a lot. Now you can use the single plates and just have it transform and go through the motions to alt mode, or you can use the single plate and lock it all together. And I think that's going to depend more on how you want to deco that. Now this guy does come in the box a little mistransformed. It's this U-shaped joint here. You have to extend it. And I got news for you, it's very tight, as are most of the joints on this figure. So just <clears throat> be aware, but that's what it is. It does help a lot with the proportions, doesn't fix them, um, but it does help. All right, let's talk about the figure. So I want to say this, I'm not sure if this blue is painted or not. I've seen them use more vibrant colors if it is. The reason why I say that, it definitely has this kind of speckled effect, this like sparkle metallic effect, but I'm not sure if that's a plastic thing or a, um, or a paint thing. And the reason why I say that is because it's on the inner flaps of some of this stuff as well. And usually if they were gonna paint something, that part wouldn't be painted, but it is there. So it makes me question as to whether or not it's something to do with the plastic. Be that as it may, it doesn't really matter because it still looks good either way. It doesn't look great, and I've seen them do more vibrant colors in a better way, but it doesn't look bad. Uh, the white, I think, is the same way. Everything else we'll kind of talk about as we go. So the head is on a ball peg. It gets you limited up, limited down. You have a swivel that works fine and a little bit of attitude. You have the silver effects here that all look good paint-wise, and the yellow, blue, and red there. Now, you have a waist swivel. We'll show our first super tight joint. So, not the best. And then you have this, which I think we should give them credit for, because I think it's actually part of transformation, but it works just like an ab crunch. So, and works extremely well. So no issues, and I, I dig that an awful lot. That's a step in the right direction with them with our articulation, which <clears throat> I think they've been lacking on recently. So we have universals for shoulders that gets you 90 degrees out to the side and the swivel around, and we have a bicep swivel. Both bicep swivels are toleranced extremely well, at least on my copy. Elbows, single hinge, 90 degrees, and once again, a tight joint. I had this piece break on me, by the way. Uh, wrist swivel. Fingers on a base pen knuckle. So, kind of fine there as well. Standard. The elbows, I wish you got more out of. All right. So, the hips, another tight joint, at least the thigh swivel specifically. You have these hip flaps. Not my favorite way of doing business, but they're there and they work. The hip skirts will get you uh, full Van Damme. I mean, the hip, the hip joints, rather, which are universals, but they're basically disc hinges. And forward and back for the full Monty. And then you have 
the fans toy squeak, the return of the fans toy squeak for the for the swivel there. All right. And then you have a double jointed knee that still doesn't get you much beyond 90 degrees, if any. So once again, not my favorite. The wheels with the chrome on them do add a nice effect. And then for the ankles, no ankle tilt down. No, oh, we do have an ankle tilt up. So no ankle tilt down, but we do have an ankle tilt up and we have a rocker. So that's, that's at least uh, better than what I thought because I, I didn't think it had the ankle tilt up. So yeah, I mean, clean bot proportion still a little wonky but definitely has that heroic feel so i'm good with that overall and on the back clean as a whistle i mean it doesn't get much cleaner than that so not terrible not terrible at all um you know not gonna make any kind of number one record books for fans toys products but uh it's also a mini bot so i don't know i would say it's better as an action figure than hunk but i probably prefer sheridan over this guy Size comparison wise, there he is with an array of masterpiece scaled figures from Optimus to Ironhide to another mini bot that's larger to another mini bot that's smaller and your car bot. So, I mean, it's a good size. Fits right in. And there he is next to the X Trans bots offering. So, significant difference in size, significant difference in sculpted detail, significant difference in proportions. This is going to be an interesting versus to do. All right, let's get them transformed. So, we have these flaps here, they open up. And then you can combine or wars the arm in basically, close it up, and then you want to collapse this U-shaped bit here. Like I said, really tight. Um, same for this side. Open this up, collapse that, close it up. Good night. Close that up. Now we're gonna open up the inside. So untab his neck from the kind of collarbone area and <clears throat> you can start to untab this stuff. This section here is what we're looking for to kind of get loose. You see it's like three sections. Now, once you have it here, start tucking the head in and disconnect, it might be a poor choice of words, the chest from the abdomen and extend it up. It's subtle but like those two tabs are where it was plugged in and now it's unplugged and then bring out your roll cage i don't know if that's what that is and we're going to work on that for a bit all right so fold in this back flap here that will stick down into the neck section in that little gap there so boom and then you have this section this splits into two it's on a double hinge from the underside, you want to flip out these two sections here. And I should probably clear that first. They will come in and tab into the side of the frame of the vehicle um, as you rotate it back. And then you can bring up this and I think you can even flip these seats up now. And then bring your arms down. I'll clean all this up. Bring your arms down and they'll tab into the side here on these pegs on his flank. And then we're going to move on to the legs. And now for the feet. And you know I like to do one leg at a time, but the instructions recommend that you do not, so I'm gonna go with them. So flip up this panel here and then flip out this panel. Also flip out this foot panel and let's see, take this headlight and get that up and out. And once you have all of that junk out of his calf, then then, a little sauce on that, you should be able to rotate this entire section out. So, we're going to do that first for the other side as well. We're going to open up that, we're going to open up that, we're going to open up... Come on girl, don't you break on me. You can see where it's lodged in, I'm just trying to... There. Yeesh. Alright, flip that out. All right, and then these panels here, you gotta get out of the way too. Okay, so then you wanna get this headlight out. 
And then once you have all of that, this whole section is on a double hinge that will rotate out the bout. And then they want you to tab the legs in together. I'm not sure if you really need to or not, but they're over under tabs. Uh, maybe I'm gonna leave it alone. And we're gonna flip this around and clear all this stuff so that it sits as nicely as we can muster. And then we're gonna tab it together. On the underside, take your flaps and plug them back in to where they once were. And take these flaps down and around so that it forms the front of the dune buggy. and then take your headlights and you can move them around to the front. All right, and this is your moment of zen. So these pegs here have to go into those holes there. They were initially tabbed in here in robot mode. And it's this hinge that we need to rotate backward to get all of this in there and the fists in here. So, you know, this is where I'm either gonna make this thing win or I'm gonna make it lose. Somebody gonna win, somebody gonna lose, you know what I mean? So uh, this flap here does have some give, so just use it to your advantage. It's pretty good. There it is. And then you can close this down, and then you can kind of get to uh, finally lock this in to position. This, uh, and this roll cage is die cast, by the way. It's a sturdy little unit. Then on the underside, you take this flap, fold it down, and this one, and fold it back. Same for that side. And the only other thing that you can do is extend your wheels here. Uh, you have to like turn them to find, I guess, the key on them. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how much that really helps anyway. I don't know if that looks better or. And they have a tendency to like not stay locked out unless I'm doing that wrong. But yeah, it's fine either way. I'll get it cleaned up, we'll take a look at it. And there it is, it rolls just fine. It's a decent little alt mode. I like the the tires. I, I One thing I like, even though I kind of like the front end design of that, if like they didn't have the headlights and these kind of wheels were able to get a little further up closer to the side of it, I think it would look more like Beachcomber to me. Now, you know, it's a nitpick thing. I'm never going to have it in alt mode anyway. It's just me being critical for this kind of the sake of being critical. But um, there is something about this that doesn't seem beachcomber to me, like that that part of it specifically. The rest of it looks great. Very clean, very sharp. Um, no real complaints. A nice little solid little dune buggy. And a not so solid Tiger Tracks. Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. I think the most glaring negative to this guy is the fact that the joints are so tight. Ungodly tight. It's not built very well in that regard. The next negative is something that I've been talking about here that nobody wants to acknowledge. And trust me, I'm, I'm a defender just like you are. But if we don't continue to call them out on it, they're going to continue to get away with more. Believe you me. But it's the limited articulation. Single hinged elbow. Double jointed knee that acts like a single hinged knee. Limited range on the head, so to speak. No ankle tilt down. Now, don't get me wrong. For the most part, you're going to be able to get everything you want out of this guy pose wise maybe with the exception of those elbows but it's just one of those things that i'm noticing becoming a trend and i would like to see them course correct now maybe it's a mini bot thing i'm willing to concede that but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't acknowledge it and it doesn't mean that they shouldn't try to fix it i don't need bizarre ab crunches and overextended butterflies and all that that some of these companies are doing nowadays but i do need the elbow to fully work and i would like the knee to fully work move on the rest is kind of subjective the sculpt is a little plain it's like they're definitely following that Takara logic and I just personally think they're better than Takara yes it's G1 accurate I get all that but there's a way in my opinion to make it G1 accurate and also make it kind of visually interesting or I should say more visually interesting also I'm not sure about the, the deco on this guy I have a strong urge to say that it's just cast in this metallic fleck plastic and maybe it's not maybe it's painted but even if it is painted we've seen them paint things better especially metallic flecked things the Galvatron is one for instance that's strikes me as like what they're really capable of doing deco wise. And once again, no hardware, which is kind of another thing that I associate with fans toys that I'd like to see more of. But once again, that could be a mini bot thing and I'm willing to concede that. And that's all I got.
Positives wise, I think the first thing that comes to mind is just how fun and enjoyable the transformation is. They've been releasing a lot of figures this year and many of them have had a similar experience in regards to fun transformations, which is not necessarily what they're known for, but good on them for it. Certainly makes the review process a lot easier. Also for all of the flips and flaps that this thing has, it's an amazingly clean piece. Now you might just say, well, you kind of criticize it for being too clean and you'd be right about that, but it doesn't mean that I can't acknowledge the fact that they did it. The materials feel great. They nailed the likeness. So in that regards, the sculpt does exactly what you want it to do. I love the alt mode, even though I do wish the tires were a little closer to the front end of the vehicle. I still really like the alt mode. So at the end of the day, it's a recommend for me, but not one of their most mind blowing pieces. Hope that helps. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.